It was a big night for a couple of beauty queens, and so now they're right in our studio. The North Dakota International Pageant was this weekend, and we have the brand new Mrs. and Miss North Dakota International, Jesse Ahmed and Ava Hill. Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. So you're uh, running off a little sleep. You, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> you said that. But, uh, okay, so we talked to a couple of the contestants leading up to this. Uh, talk a little bit about what makes the international pageant system different than some of the others. Our system is unique in that we are platform-based, and so we are all about family and service, and we want to make a difference in our community. So each contestant that runs has a platform and a passion for that cause. And, and what are your platforms? Yeah. I'll let you go first, Ava. My platform is the Paint Heart Project, Hearts for Hope. It's a suicide prevention organization that's a global organization. What we do is we create handcrafted hearts, we connect resources to them, and we connect positive quotes to them, and we place them in local places all around the world. So this is a global organization. And I am a worldwide ambassador for the organization. I'm actually the first to be from the state of North Dakota. I myself have made 7,000 of these hearts, and I've scattered them in over 11 states. Wow. Um, yes. <laughs> and what is your platform? I got to follow that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, my platform is Girl Scouts. Um, it's our mission to build girls of courage, confidence, and character. We do all kinds of different badge workshops. I've been able to take girls internationally to London to our World Center. We're going to Switzerland coming up in 2020. So it's an amazing leadership experience that I'm excited to really get the word out there to more girls. So when you go on these trips, are you doing what to demonstrate leadership with them? We, so we, sh we plan, of course, these trips ahead of time. So we've got two years. They have to fundraise the money. Um, nice. They've got to do all of that planning. And we go for a week. And so these girls that I took in London uh, I, this summer, excuse me, we'd never met until we got on the plane to go. And so we get on the plane to go, and they've got to kind of roll with it. 14 to 18 years old, discovered new, you know, flying over the ocean for the first time, discover how to deal with new money, all these different kinds of things. And it was just really neat to watch them blossom. We do a, um, a variety of activities while we're there, educational activities and some fun activities too. You guys are obviously beautiful and we call you beauty queens in the studio, but then <laughs> listening to your platforms and, and what you do, it seems like it's so much more than just a beauty contest. Do you feel like you have to explain that to people sometimes? All the time. It's so much more than gowns and crowns. It's, you know, it's the woman in the crown and in the gown that makes the difference. This stuff is kind of just a tool to get our, you know, to get attention so that we can say, hey, look at what we have to offer and look at the great, amazing leadership experiences that we have and what we can do uh, for our communities. So now the other platform, do you travel across the state and kind of talk about your mission or what's the game plan from here? Go ahead. <laughs> I've been very fortunate to be able to represent my project just as Ava Hill, but now I'm fortunate to do it as Miss North Dakota International. I've been able to bring my Hearts for Hope presentations all across the state. I've actually reached around 3,000 students as of right now, and I'll be speaking again in February to Jamestown. Um, and I've been able to reach again 11 states across the country, and I've been able to bring my hearts all around the world. That's awesome. Yes, and for Girl Scouts as well, um, like she said, you, you know, with this pageant, we are a little bit different that the job starts before, you know, and the crown is kind of the, the stage and the amplifier for our voice to be heard. So I've been working with Girl Scouts for some time and doing different badge workshops. We do outreach programs and then the international travel as well. So what would you tell young women, well, women of all ages, really, uh, why they should maybe look into this and get involved? Because I feel like what I've heard is that a lot of you have kind of been recruited into this. <laughs> definitely. Like you didn't even know this is definitely. something that you wanted to do. <laughs> yep, definitely. Um, it is an amazing experience. You find a confidence and an inner strength that you really didn't know you had. I mean, I've always been an outgoing and, and determined person, but this has given me a clear, effective focus to really make a difference with the time that I have. So what's next for you guys? Well, we have this whole year. This is really day uh, one and a half, I <laughs> <Yes>. guess. <laughs> we'll call it one and a half. One and a half. Um, so we have our whole year, and we are, again, both ready with our plans to you know, really hit the ground running. We've really already been running um, to really make this year worth it and make a difference in women's lives. Congratulations. It's Thank really you. Thank you so much. With you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Coming up here on North Dakota Today, what tea toxing is, and does it really work?